Let's solve one previous question of mathematical logic. This question was asked in GATE CS 2016 set 1 question number 1. Let P, Q, R, S represents the following expressions. P is X belongs to 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Q is X is a composite number. R is X is a perfect square. S is X is a prime number. The integer X greater than equals to 2 which satisfies negation of P implies Q and negation of R or negation of S is dash. So here X belongs to 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now P implies Q. X is a composite number. 8 is a composite number. We can multiply 2 by 4. Then 9 is a composite number. 3 multiplied 3 is 9. 10 is also composite number. 12 is also composite number only 11 is not composite number so p implies q will be 8 9 10 12 so from this 8 9 10 11 12 which are composite number 8 9 10 12 next we will find negation r what is r x is a perfect square now from this which is perfect square only 9 is perfect square so r is 9 now negation r will be except 9 8, 10, 11, 12. Next we will find negation S. What is S? X is a prime number. So what is prime number from this? 11 is a prime number. Now negation S will be 8, 9, 10, 12. Next we will find negation R or negation S. These two are. So it will be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all x value. Next, we need to find P implies Q and negation R or negation S. So, P implies Q is 8, 9, 10, 12. Then negation R or negation S is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, both and. In case of and, which number are common in both? 8 is common, then 9 is common then 10 is common, then 12 is common. So both and will be 8, 9, 10, 12. Next, we need to find negation of this. So negation of this whole 8, 9, 10, 12, it will be 11. Only number left is 11. So answer will be 11. Here P, Q, R, S is given. We just need to find P implies Q and negation R or negation S, then it's negation. So answer is 11. I already discussed mathematical logic, just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.